Hi guys, Gilliam Elliott here with an educational video about medical tourism. Today I want to cover a short topic of how many destinations you should cover as a medical tourism startup. And I also want to touch on how many procedures you should also focus on when you're first starting your medical travel company. So I get this question every once in a while. People will say, hey, uh, is there a certain amount of destinations I should focus on uh, when I'm starting my company? And my response to this is typically, uh, you wanna target one to three destinations when you're first starting your company. Uh, and the reason for this is because when you first start a medical tourism company, there's a lot of things that go into it. Um, there's a lot of time, uh, a lot of resources, and a lot of energy. Uh, that you have to put into your company and so you want to make sure you don't spread yourself thin you want to make sure that you're focusing on a limited amount of procedures and a limited amount of destinations so you can put all your energy all your time and all your resources into those uh, into those particular procedures and destinations another reason why you want to focus on a limited number of destinations when you first start is that you want to brand yourself in those destinations and then once you brand yourself in those destinations and you start getting clients then you can move on to more destinations uh, and you have time, right? You have time to move on and add destinations as you as you grow your company and as you generate revenue. So at the beginning, you really want to focus on that one to three number. So one to three countries that you're focusing on, that you're putting your resources, your time, and your effort into. And same thing with procedures. Like I said, you want to focus on one to three procedures. You want to focus on one, two, or three, and you don't want to go over that at the beginning. Because as I mentioned, it's not easy starting a medical travel agency. So you want to make sure that you're not spreading yourself thin and that you're branding yourself on specific procedures and in specific destinations. And then once you get a name for yourself in these destinations, then you can move on and you can grow your company, grow your agency, as well as add employees and add other benefits that you provide to clients. But at the beginning, you want to make sure you're using your time and your resources in the most effective manner possible. And that's by focusing and concentrating on a limited number of destinations. So I've been in the global healthcare industry for almost a decade now. So I've seen the time and the resources and the energy that it takes to launch a company. And I've helped thousands of individuals launch and grow their medical travel agency. So that's why I'm telling you guys at the beginning, there's a lot of things you're going to need. There's a lot of support you're going to need. So if you guys need support at the beginning and you need guidance, we have a program that can help you. Um, we have a certified medical travel agent course, which is the only course that shows you guys step by step how to start, grow and launch an agency from scratch. So you guys can look into that. I'll leave a link below. We also have a membership program where you can get consultancy. You can get all the tools you need to grow your agency but I want to touch on this short subject because I do get this question a lot and starting a medical travel agency isn't easy uh, but we're here to help you guys if you need the help and the support and let me know if you guys have any other questions in the comment section I look forward to speaking to you guys and thanks for watching this video